Japan is a nation built on the edge of the world, a land defined by its resilience against the literal shifting of the earth. But what is happening right now is unlike anything recorded in modern history. For the last three weeks, the ground hasn't just shaken. It has vibrated with a relentless, terrifying frequency. Exactly 21 days ago, a massive rupture tore through a section of the fault line that many believed was stable. We were told the danger had passed. We were told the aftershocks were normal. They were wrong. Since that initial rupture, Japan has been locked in a state of permanent unrest. The numbers are staggering. Over 1,000 earthquakes every single day. That is 41 earthquakes every hour. One every 90 seconds. As you watch this video, the Japanese archipelago is shifting. Beneath the neon lights of Tokyo and the quiet shrines of Kyoto, the tectonic plates are engaged in a violent tug of war that shows no sign of stopping. This isn't just a series of small quakes. It is a seismic swarm, a 1,000 mile arc of instability that is lighting up the Pacific ring of fire like a Christmas tree. Seismologists are now using a word they rarely use in public, unprecedented. Tonight, we look at the terrifying reality of a nation under siege by the earth itself and the looming shadow of the big one that this swarm might be announcing. To understand the terror of the present, we have to look back at the event that started this chain reaction. It began with a rupture that defied the models. Most earthquakes occur when plates slip, releasing energy in a single violent burst. But this rupture was different. It was a slow motion tear that traveled further than anyone anticipated, cutting through a 1,000 mile arc of the seabed. This rupture acted like a zipper being pulled open across the crust of the earth. It didn't just release pressure, it redistributed it. Like a row of dominoes, the stress was pushed into neighboring fault, zones that have been dormant for decades. In the days following the main event, the swarm began. At first, it was 50 quakes a day, then 200. By the end of the first week, the count hit 1,000. These aren't just numbers on a screen. For the people living in the Amori and Shimane prefectures, it means living in a world where the floor never feels solid. It means bookshelves that have to be bolted to the wall twice. It means the constant low-frequency hum of the earth that leads to a phenomenon known as earthquake sickness a dizzying, nauseating feeling that the world is melting beneath your feet. But why won't it stop? In a typical earthquake scenario, aftershocks decrease in frequency and magnitude over time. In Japan right now, the frequency is increasing. This suggests that the initial rupture didn't finish the job. Instead, it may have been the opening act for something much, much larger. The scope of this unrest is what has the global scientific community on edge. We are looking at a 1,000 mile arc of seismic activity. This isn't localized to one city. It is a systemic failure of the Philippine Sea Plate's boundary. As this plate grinds beneath the Japanese islands, it is getting stuck, snapping, and vibrating. The swarm is currently concentrated in three major hot zones. The first is the northern tip, near Hokkaido, where deep crust quakes are sending shockwaves that can be felt as far away as Tokyo. The second is the central mountainous region, where inland faults are reacting to the coastal pressure. But it's the third zone that is keeping world leaders awake at night, the Nankai Trough. For those who don't know, the Nankai Trough is a subduction zone that has historically produced megaquakes, events with a magnitude of 8.0 or 9.0 every 100 to 150 years. We are currently right in the middle of that window. The current swarm of 1,000 quakes a day is moving steadily toward this trough. If this swarm plugs into the Nankai fault line, we aren't just looking at more small quakes. We are looking at a disaster that could reshape the coastline of Japan forever. Think of the current 1,000 quakes as small sparks flying off a grinding machine. Those sparks are now landing in a room filled with 150 years of accumulated tectonic gunpowder. While the world watches the data, the people of Japan are living through a psychological nightmare. Imagine trying to sleep when every hour, your bed shakes three or four times. 
The sirens of the early warning system have become the soundtrack of daily life. In many cities, people have stopped going back inside. They are living in cars, in tents, in open parks, waiting. But there is a second, even more terrifying element to this swarm, the slow slip events. Not all of these 1,000 quakes can be felt. Some are what scientists call silent earthquakes. These are massive movements of the earth that happen over hours or days rather than seconds. They don't shake the ground violently, so you won't feel them, but they are moving massive amounts of rock. These silent quakes are the stealth bombers of seismology. They are silently loading the Nankai trough with more pressure than it has seen since the great 1944 Tonankai earthquake. We are seeing ground deformation measured by GPS satellites. Portions of the coastline have literally sunk by several centimeters in just three weeks. The sea is creeping in, the ground is moving out, and the frequency of the tremors is reaching a fever pitch. If the 1,000 quake a day swarm leads to the 9.0 rupture that many fear, the consequences won't stay in Japan. We live in a connected world. A major rupture in the Nankai trough would trigger a tsunami that would cross the Pacific Ocean in less than 12 hours. From the shores of California to the coast of Australia, the ring of fire would feel the pulse of this event. The Japanese government has taken the unprecedented step of issuing a mega quake advisory. They aren't saying it will happen today, but they are saying the probability has spiked to levels we have never seen. They are telling citizens to have their go bags ready, to know their evacuation routes, and to stay vigilant. As of this recording, the swarm continues. 1,042 quakes in the last 24 hours. The earth is screaming. It is telling us that something beneath the surface has changed. The 1,000 mile rupture was the warning shot. The swarm is the countdown. The question isn't if the ground will shake again. The question is, when the big one finally arrives, will the world be ready to answer? We are tracking the seismic sensors in real time. Every jolt, every tremor, every shift in the 1,000 mile arc is being logged. Make sure you stay tuned to this channel as we bring you the latest data from the front lines of this seismic crisis. History is happening right now, beneath our feet.